This new D-PIN project called Wingbits allows you to set up a plug and play device that earns you tokens for tracking live aircraft data. They also have a dual mining version that earns GeodeNet. That's earning me over $150 a month on top of the Wingbits token. Now the project has over nine and a half million dollars in funding. They sent a satellite to space with SpaceX. And in my opinion, it's one of the best early picks for 2025. Now those who got in on GeodeNet when I covered it many years ago, have made more than $10,000 and I see this doing even better. You're only allowed one station per hex. So you're going to want to get in early and choose your location now. If you're late, you could miss out. And make sure you stay till the end of the video as I'll show you how to reserve your hex for six months. I'll do an unboxing of my device, a setup tutorial, and I'll also share tips on how you can maximize your rewards. In this video, I'll go over what Wingbits is and what it's trying to achieve. I'll briefly look at who will use the data. I'll then talk through how the rewards work for this project. I'll go over the devices that they have available. I'll show you how you can reserve your location today. I'll do a device unboxing and a setup tutorial and lastly I'll go over my tips on how you can maximize your rewards today. I'll have the timestamps on the screen, links and discount codes in the description. Let's get into this video. Right, let's jump into the Wingbits website so we can learn more about this project and what it's trying to achieve. Wingbits is a global mapping network that tracks data from aircraft in real time. It's the first project that incentivizes flight tracking and in fact it's the fastest growing flight tracking network in history. As crazy as it sounds, the $6 trillion aviation industry relies heavily on data that's collected by a group of dedicated community volunteers and aviation enthusiasts. Now these volunteer groups set up hardware and antennas on their homes and they track ADSB signals that aircrafts transmit twice per second. These ADS signals are transmitted by aircrafts and picked up by satellites, by other aircrafts and also by ground station and it allows the industry to accurately track aeroplanes. But because these volunteer groups are unpaid and there's often an inconsistent quality or even spoof data, there's little control over the value and the accuracy of this data. And this is exactly what Wingbits is looking to take advantage of. And the process is super simple. You capture real-time flight data with your plug and play station. You share this secure signed data with the network and global aviation industry uses your data for their daily operations. So now we know what Wingbits is, it's important to look at who can use this data because if they have valuable data, then they'll get valuable clients that are gonna pay for that data and you are gonna earn a better reward. So they're gonna utilize this data with aviation companies and airlines and charter companies. Of course, they're gonna to wanna to improve their operations, improve route efficiency and fuel costs and delays, etc. You've got air traffic control because they're gonna to wanna to manage better traffic flow and monitor airspace. But then you've also got emergency services. Just imagine those in remote areas, if an aeroplane goes down in a mountainous region, they're going to want to accurately monitor that. They can't rely on volunteers that are gonna provide rough information. And then you've got logistics firms and drone and UAV operators, as well as government agencies. They've actually on their website got access that people can request for this database at the moment with live data on demand, historical data that they can provide, and also the ability to produce custom reports. And they promise a lot of benefits to this data, which currently isn't available on the market. Now, one of the things that gives us credibility with this project is that in January of 2025, they secured over $5.6 million in investment. And six months ago, they had about three and a half million, which puts them at nine and a half million dollars in investment in the last six to seven months. Now, that is an incredible achievement and shows the huge potential that investors are willing to put behind this project. Remember, investors are going to open the doors to strategic partners that are going to buy that data. One of the other benefits of this project is that that they partnered with GeodeNet. Now, as you know, GeodeNet is a project that we covered on this channel and it's been one of my highest earners so far. If you wanna learn more about this project, you can check out this video here in the top right. But GeodeNet and their capabilities partnering with Wingbits is only going to be awesome. And as you'll see later on in the video, the device that I have allows you to dual mine both GeodeNet and Wingbits. So you're going to want to make sure that you don't miss that part. And the last cool thing to mention is that they actually launched a satellite into space. And that wasn't just a gimmick. Launching that satellite on SpaceX's mission has actually allowed them to fill some of the coverage gaps that currently exists, and that's going to create premium data products, which will attract premium clients. 
So how do the rewards work for the Wingbits project? Now, as mentioned, this project does not have a listed token, so you are going to be earning the Wings token until it lists and that's when you can cash out. But remember, this is how you earn the most rewards. Now they have a formula that they have put aside for how the rewards work. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and then show you the map because it's the best way to go over how these rewards work. So what you can do is you can go onto wingbits.com and click on map here at the top. Here you see a map of all of the reserved and claimed locations. I'd suggest that first of all, you go to your location just to make sure that your actual resolution six hex has not been claimed but just click somewhere around it. If I click on here in New York, you can see, first of all, the coverage of that device. So let's have a look at the, how the rewards will be calculated. Well, number one, as you can see, you have your data points in your hex. That's gonna be divided by the total number of data points. That's depending on how much data you're collecting. Now, the second formula is your base rewards. Now, each resolution three hexagon is gonna have 2.4 wings that are distributed proportionally between all stations covering that hexagon. That's then multiplied by the uptime level, which at the moment is set to 100, so that's not changing for the time being. And then lastly, you've got bonuses. There are two types of bonuses that you can get. One is called a performance bonus reward, and the second one is an early participation reward. The early participation is there for getting in early, of course, and the bonus participation, well, these are the top five stations in each of these resolution three hexagons. They're gonna share those rewards. So what you wanna do is look at some of the miners in your location, click on the rewards, and you can see how much they're earning. Now, some of them are earning around 80, others are actually earning around 100 to 120. It just depends on how optimized those are. And if you do wait till later on in the video, I am going to go over how to optimize your earnings so you earn the most rewards. Remember, there's only one device that can be claimed in each of your hexes, so make sure you do that. And of course, later on in the video, I'm gonna show you how you can claim your hex so no one else can steal it. I'm just gonna pause this video here. Hopefully this is the first time that you're seeing this device up and running. I was one of the first people to get my hands on this. And if you like this type of exclusive content, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to the channel. I took a month and a half off just to recharge and there's gonna be a ton of videos coming to you on a regular basis as a thank you. So if you're interested in getting involved in this project, what are the devices that you can get hold of? There are two devices currently available on pre-order. There is the Wingbix MGW310. This has the ability to dual mine geode and Wingbits, which in my opinion is the best return on investment. And then you've got the Wingbits WB200, which only returns on the Wingbits project. The reason why I think this is a benefit is because for $500 more, you get the additional option of earning GeodeNet. And as you can see, the GeodeNet device actually costs around $700. And with a daily reward of 24 tokens, at the moment, that's around $5. But of course, as the price increases, that will be a lot more. You can see from my previous video that today, I've probably made over $10,000 from my Geode device itself. So having the opportunity to dual mine these, in my opinion, is just a win-win. And that's why if you can afford to do so, that's the one that I would recommend. And as you'll see later on in the video, I'll be doing an unboxing and a setup of this device. As always, you can use my discount code Passive Crypto for orders over $500 and you'll get a huge $50 discount. I'll put a link in the description to all of the discounts that I've got available. And remember, the benefit of purchasing through Helium Deploy is that you can get access to their D-PIN tracker, which actually allows you to track all of your devices if they go offline and gives you notifications if they do so. It also allows you to check the order status of your devices. So I definitely recommend you check out the D-PIN tracker I do have a link to that if you're interested in it. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these devices, what is it that you need to do? Well, first of all, you'll click on register new station and you'll accept the terms and conditions. You'll then go to where your location is just to make sure that your location is available and free. Let me click on this one here. As you can see, it's currently free and available. You'll pick the exact location that your miner is in or you'll enter your address. After you've done that, it will give you the ability to reserve this for a few hours. That's gonna allow you to purchase the device. If you don't do that, your location could be released. Now, once you've purchased your device, you'll get an order confirmation with a discount code that's going to allow you to extend your reservation for six months. What you'll do is you'll click on here and extend reservation. You'll choose pre-order hardware, $120, and then you'll click proceed. It's here on the order page that you'll click add promotion code and it will reduce the amount to make it a free reservation. That will give you enough time for your pre-order to arrive so you can be rest assured that you have locked up your location and nobody else can use it. So the device actually comes in a well-packed box. You can see here the base station. The device also of course has the power cords as well as the ethernet and power combined cable. It comes with an antenna attached to it. 
and it also comes with a steel cable that you will use to attach this to your roof. You can see that it's a solid build with waterproof components. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you attach the antenna to the top of your device. This is before you plug it in. They also advise you to use some self amalgamating tape just to make sure no water gets in there. That I would do that as a precaution, especially if you live in a wet area. Right, let's go through a quick setup tutorial. First things first, you're gonna take all of this apart and you're going to attach the antenna to the top of the device. And then after that, you're going to connect the combined power and ethernet cable to the device itself. You're gonna put one end into the wall to give it power and you're gonna plug the other ethernet side into your router. The next thing you're gonna do is go to your Wi-Fi. You're gonna find the name of the device as the Wi-Fi network and then put your serial number as the password. Once you've done that, you can either click on the IP address, which is displayed on the screen right now or you can go into your router and find your IP address. On the back end you're going to type in your local Wi-Fi passwords entering your minor key and confirming that as well. Now once you've done that you're going to want to log into your router and get the IP address of your device that's going to come in handy a little bit later. If you want to log into your dashboard you simply enter the IP address that you noted and log in using your serial number. This is gonna give you the device status that you can see here. Onboarding the device couldn't be easier itself. To onboard with Wingbits, you simply log into your dashboard and you can just click on the install button. To register this with the Wingbits, it's super easy. Just make a note of your secret and your ID and then log into the Wingbits dashboard and here you're gonna to wanna to click on link Hifix. To link this, you're going to need the serial number and you're also going to need the ID key. Both of those are gonna allow you to link that device. Wait a few seconds and you'll see that it's online. To add this to GeodeNet, you'll simply go on the GeodeNet console, click on add miner. Here you're gonna enter the miner serial number, your nickname and your miner key that you'll get from the same dashboard. And that's it. You should be connected whether you have the dual miner or if you have the Wingbits only device. Okay, last part of the video. How can we ensure that we maximize the rewards on our Wingbits or Geode setup? Well, number one is your location. Of course, you wanna make sure that you have a great line of sight of horizon with no trees around, ideally on the roof of your building. You want to capture as much of the air as you can because that's going to give you as many data points, giving you the best rewards. The ideal location is on top of a house with no trees surrounding you and a majority view of the sky. Now, the second tip is to capture unique data. It says on the light paper that if you are located next to an airport, then you can capture planes rolling in and out whilst they're parking and stowed, so you are going to get much more rewards. So trying to find locations that are strategically placed next to airport hangars or airports, of course, that's going to be as ideal if you can. The third tip to maximize rewards is to aim to capture as many hexagons as possible. As we mentioned, that's going to increase your data points, which is a factor in your rewards. So being in a high location is gonna give you a bigger coverage, as well as being near the ocean, because as we saw with helium, being on the ocean actually allows it to reflect signals and get a better reward. And the fourth tip is if your location is already taken or if you're in a saturated area, reach out to friends and family. You could have a neighbor or a relative that lives near an airport or has access to a high building. By simply giving them this device, you could share rewards or if they don't know much about it, just give them $30 a month and see what happens. But these are all the tools that I would utilize to maximize your rewards. That's it for this video. I hope you loved the exclusive content on this device. If you like these types of devices, why not check this one out here? Right, that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video.